Good morning students. Welcome back. Today's subject is algebra and we are going to start with chapter number 2 real numbers. Now students before going to a new concept let's recall back what we learnt in our previous session. We learnt about rational number and irrational number. Now what is rational number? If p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0 then the number p upon q is called a rational number or I can say that a number whose decimal form is terminating or non-terminating non recurring type it is called as rational number. Now definition of irrational number a number whose decimal form is non-terminating and non-recurring is called irrational number. Okay, let me give example so that you will recall back again. Example. Now first one I have taken 4 upon 5. Now 4 upon 5 is a rational number. You know the denominator is 5. So factor of 2 or 5 is terminating. Now next example is root 2. If you take decimal form it is 1.4142. So it is non-terminating and non-recurring. So it is irrational number. One more example I have taken that is square root of 25. You know what is square root of 25? The answer is 5 and 5 is a rational number. So by this students I want to say that square root or cube root or nth root means any root, 4th root or 5th root of any number can be rational or an irrational number. So, our next topic what I am going to teach you is certs. Now, certs in easy way if you want to understand is nothing but the irrational root of a number is cert. Now, irrational root of any positive rational number is called certs. If you go by definition, means if A is a positive rational number and nth root of A is x, that is in symbolic manner if you write nth root of A equal to x and if x is an irrational number, means this x should be an irrational number, then x is a cert. Now in certs, that is nth root of a, there are few things to remember. This radic this sign symbol is called radical sign. Previous you used to say square root sign, but actually it is known as radical sign. And can you see n over here? This n is known as order of cert. And the A inside, the number what would be inside this radical sign is called as radicant. Now, if none of, uh, if anything is not written, only it is directly, see I have given one example under root 7. And here N, no number is given. So by default it is 2. So the third of order 2 is called quadratic third. Another example like root 2. So in root 2, square root of 2. So it is not written anything means the order is 2. In cube root, you know cube root. So the order is 3. So third means an irrational root of an positive rational number. Now student, whether any number the given is a third or not. Let's find out how we'll do. Whether, I have taken one example, whether 4th root of 8 is a third or not. Now here A, A means radicant is 8. Order of third means N is 4. Now 4th root of A, 8 is not a rational number. If you do factorization of 8, you will get 2 into 2 into 2. So 4th root of 8 is not a rational number. So, you will get as an irrational number. So, 4th root of 8 is a third. Now, let me explain another with an another example. 
whether cube root of 8 is a third or not. Now, here I have taken the same radicand that is a equal to 8 and order of the third I have made it 3 over here. See, order of the third, this is order. So, here 3. But you know, cube root of 8 is 2. So, answer that is cube root of 8 is 2 and 2 is a rational number. So, cube root of 8 is not an irrational number. So, cube root of 8 is not a third. So, understood how you will find whether the given number that is given is third or not. Now, in thirds, we are going to learn few concepts like simplest form of third. Then, we will learn about similar or like third. Then, we will learn about comparison of thirds. Then what else we'll learn that is operation on like search and rationalization of search. I'll explain all this concept by giving one one example. Now first let me explain what is simplest form of search. Now students, you have learned in variables like in, in variables that is in factor this one, algebraic expression, simplest form or in fraction if you see. So, you reduce the numerator and denominator to its simplest form and that is what is simplest form of the given fraction. Similarly, in simplest form of third, a third of an order n is said to be in simplest form if the radicant has no factor, the radicant is not a fraction, n is the least order of the third. Now, let me explain by giving one example. Now, I have taken student example that is square root of 18. Here, order is 2. It is not given, means it is a quadratic third and the order is 2. Now, I can I have to simplify this third. Now, 18, I can write as 9 threes are 18. So, in under root, in radical sign, I will write 9 into 3. Now, I can separately write this root 9 into root 3. You know what is square root of 9. What will come out? 3. And this will remain as it is. That is root 3. Now can you see student. Here this radicant is in simplest form. Further we cannot factorize this. So under root 18. The simplest form of the third will be 3 into root 3. This way we have to simplify the thirds. Now next concept I will explain. That is similar or like third. As in algebraic expression, the variables, same variables are called as like terms. Similarly here, two thirds are said to be like third if the order is equal and the radicants are equal. Means both of the same order and the radicant also should be equal. Then only we can say they are like third. Let's take an example. Now, I have taken root 20 and root 45. Now, can you see students here, both have order same that is 2. So, the first thing that is order should be equal is okay. The third are with same order. Now, the second thing radicant should be equal. Now, student here inside the given is radicant 20 and here it is given 45. If you see like that, the both radicants are different. But let's first take the simplest form. Then let's decide whether they are like thirds or unlike thirds. Now, root 20, if I simplify, I can write root 20 as 4 into 5. So now, if I see, I can take root 4 as 2 will come out because square root of 4 is 2 and this will be as it is root 5. Simplest form of root 20 will be 2 into root 5 and root 45, the simplest form, if I write, I'll write inside the radical sign 9 into 5 and 9 square root is 3, so 3 will come out and root will, 5 will remain in the radical sign. So, it will, the simplest form of root 45 is 3 into root 5. Now, you see your students, now you have to see the simplest form, 2 into root 5 and 3 into root 5. Now, here the order of the thirds are same and the radicant inside is also same. So, students, 
root 20 and under root 45 are like surges because both the order and the radicands are same. Now, I'll explain to you the next concept. Our next concept is comparisons of surge. Now, you have to compare the surge. So, two surges of same order can be compared by comparing the radicand. Now, here in comparison of surge, the order also should be same and you have to compare the inside radicand. So, I will take one example to make this concept more clear. Now, I have taken one example as root 20 and root 45. So, student here both are quadratic third. The order is 2. Now, inside radicand is 20 and 45. Now, we have to compare both the radicand 20 and 45. As, as you know, 20 is less than 45. Similarly, that is under root 20. Square root of 20 is less than square root 45. So, this way you have to compare the surge. Now, I will take one more example. Cube root of 29 and cube root 39. Can you see the order is 3? Same order. Okay. Now, our next step, we have to see the radicand. Here, radicand is 29 and here in the next surge is 39. As you know, 29 is less than 39. So, cube root of 29 is less than cube root of 39. This way, we have to compare the surge. Now, next topic is operation on like surge. As in algebraic terms, we do operations on algebraic terms as addition, subtraction. Similarly, mathematical operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division can be done on like surge. Let me take one example. I have taken one addition example to explain this. Now, before that, let me explain by giving one example like algebraic, uh, we take algebraic expression. So, in algebraic expression, if I write 2x plus 3x, then what you get, you know, you, can, you have to add the numbers. So, what will come? 5x. So, in the same variable, so the numbers will add and the coefficient, this will be as it is, that is 5x. Similarly, here in search, now students, in search also, what you have to do, that is same, the order is same over here and the radicands is same. So, you have to add the rational number ahead to this. That is 7 plus 29 and you will take common as root 3. As here, x we take common, same way. So, 7 plus 29 will get 36 and the radicand that is what is given inside the radicand that is root 3. So, 7, in, 7 plus root 3 plus 29 plus root 3 you will get answer 36 root 3. Now, let us explain. I will explain the next concept that is rationalization of surge. Now, what is rationalization of surge? If the product of two third is a rational number, then each of the two third is called rationalizing factor of each other. Now, this concept will become more clear by giving one example. I have taken 2 into root 2 into root 2 equal to, if you see 2 as it is will come, root 2 into root 2, 2 equal to 4 which is a rational number. So, what the statement says, if the product of two thirds, now our one third is 2 root 2 and the other third is root 2. So, product of this two thirds, what is the product of this two thirds? A rational number. So, if the product of two thirds is a rational number, then the two thirds, then each, this two are factor of, rationalizing factor of each other and vice versa. So, to root 2 is the rationalizing factor of 2 root 2 and vice versa. So, in this concept, you have to remember one thing. Rationalizing factor of a given third is not unique. If a third is a rationalizing factor of a given third, then a third obtained by multiplying it with any non-zero rational number is also a rationalizing factor of the given third. 
so i hope student you have understood all the concept related to search so we will start our practice set in the next lecture till then stay home stay safe thank you